Hey everyone, today we're comparing Heroku and Fly.io. These are two cloud platforms for deploying apps. We'll explain each one first and see which one is better for what. Heroku is a popular platform as a service or a pass that makes deploying apps easy. You push your code with Git and it runs it in containers called Dynos. It supports languages like Python, Ruby, and Node.js and offers managed databases and add-ons for things like logging. It's great for developers who don't want to manage servers. Pricing starts at $5 a month for basic plans and it doesn't have a free tier anymore, but it's reliable and simple to use. Fly.io is a newer platform that focuses on speed by running your apps close to users worldwide. It uses Docker containers, so it works with any language you can containerize. You deploy with a command line tool and it's got cool features like global scaling. Fly.io has a free plan for small projects, plus a pay-as-you-go pricing, making it flexible and budget-friendly for startups or hobbyists. So how do they stack up? Heroku is super easy with Git deployment and tons of managed services. Think databases and add-ons. It's best for projects needing a full setup without much tweaking. Fly.io shines with performance, thanks to its global servers, and it's cheaper for small or variable workloads with that free plan. Heroku is more predictable, but costs more upfront. Fly.io gives you flexibility, but might need a bit more setup. Skills. Pick Heroku if you want simplicity and lots of built-in tools for bigger stable projects like a business app. Go with Fly.io if you need fast performance for users worldwide or you're on a tight budget, like for a game server or side project. Heroku is the comfy all-in-one, Fly.io is the speedy lean option. There you go, guys. Please let us know in the comments below which one you decided to go with and please like share and subscribe